Okay, here we are for the tutorial for the, um, oh, I don't know what you want to call it, binder file folder. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, it's actually that way. You'll need a 12 by 12 and you'll need to score at 5 inches and 11 and a quarter. I've just trimmed this bit off. But um, 11 and a quarter all the way down. Turn it and you need a half inch border. Like go half an inch down there. And you need to come on at 11 and a half and score down there. Alright. Okay. And then we'll leave the rest till I've mentioned all the other parts. Okay. Then you will need a hinge. And it will measure. Let me get all the bits and pieces here. I was organised, but when you do a few takes, it gets a little muddled. Okay, so you will need the hinge part, which is two and a half by eleven, and you score at one and a quarter. Okay, so it's just score down the centre and fold it, turn it over, and then you will mark half inch along at both ends. Okay, and that is where your that that's the placement line, but I'll show that later. Okay. You will also need three of the pockets, which are these here, um, and these will measure da, 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 seven by two and a half, and score half inch at both ends. For these, now I've only added six. You can go and add more if you like. I've added. Like I said, six, and they're at four and a half by five, and score. Uh, make sure you place the four and a half across the top, and score at four inches down. And that's just your, your That's where your glue will go. Okay, so it's like so it's a little hinge. Okay, six of them. All right, now we're doing this big flap. And that big flap measures six and a half by ten and a half, and you will score at five and seven eighths and at six inch. Okay, and that gives it a little your little hinge here, a bit of a gusset. You will need a gusset, okay, because it helps to um, give you more room for the bulk of this and the bulk of that. Okay, flip it over. Let's open it up. The pocket here is three three by twelve, and you score both ends at half an inch. Okay, this flap, this big one here, measures five and a half by ten and a half, and you'll score at four and seven eighths. So you go along, score at four and seven eighths, and at five. Again, this gives you a gusset because you also have. Uh, it just gives you more. When you because I want to pack a whole heap of um, patterns and things in here, so um, yeah, gives it a gusset. And these two flaps, these measure five by four and a half, and you will score at half an inch and five eighths. Or when you're working on this thing, I prefer to go to the to the right side of it. So place your four and a half across the top here and you'll score at three and seven eighths and at four. Okay? So just go at the four and then the next one under it down there. And that just gives it that little gusset. Okay, so there's two of them. That's it. So taking your 12 by 12 and you've scored down at five, you've still scored down at 11 and a quarter. You've turned it and you've scored half and half. Then what you will do is on your 11 and a quarter line, I want you to keep in mind the position of your tab uh, if you're doing multiples of these. So you get that staggered look on your tabs. Okay, so mine are out, but ignore that. So you get the staggered look, okay? So I've measured these and they're about one and a half size tabs. You can alter, do whatever you want. You don't even have to have these on and add your own. But I'm using these just as a guide for myself. 
um, they probably will look a lot different than that and I may even take them off I don't know okay so let's go and get my bone folder and I'm going to actually I'm not going to do that yet what we're going to do then once you've come across up to where you've marked your tab if you're having tabs if you're not cut it off um, yep cut along and take that piece off and then you will come and cut down here to this score to this center score line and also down here to this score line uh oh and I should have measured my I should have measured my tab across it doesn't matter um, measure your tab as you will see measure your tab from your half inch score line so I should have come along another half inch okay so put in a half inch mark and that is where you will do your measurement for your tab does that make sense if not ask me this is real I'm not doing any more takes okay So I'm just cutting down. You might have one of those really good cutters and be able to use your trimmers, but I don't have one of them. I've got that big cutter and I'm over it. But they're so expensive to buy trimmers. I want one that I don't have to keep buying blades for all the time. It's a bit, a bit wonky. Oh well. Actually, it might pay to put a little bit of an angle on your sides here, just slightly. You don't need a lot. Okay. Then you go and you find your score lines. just started oh. I don't know how that happens but anyway okay do not glue that down because what we need to do is we need to actually glue our um I'm just going to bring the instructions up, hang ten. We need to attach our two large flaps. So when that is folded up, this becomes this actually this is this pocket area okay now we're adding all this the two the two small the bigger one and this pocket what we're going to do first of all is add this one so it's the smaller one and i didn't actually give this one a gusset which i should So I've scored at five and now I'm scoring at whoops. I think I'll just use this one it works better. soften the gussets up too because it helps them to move and everything to sit better ok 
Okay. As far as I know, I've given everything else the gusset. So, we... Now I'm going to pause and tape. Okay. Just going to edge tape. Make sure you got it the right way. And where these two are is where you place it. Make sure you got it even because it is slightly smaller than the size of the pocket. You know, so um, Now we'll do the big one, and this one goes along here where your tab is, the back of the tab. So um, this is the front, this is the back, and this is where it goes. Again, it's not the full length so make sure you get it if you want to mark your markings to make it easier for you go right on ahead but I'm just gonna eyeball it which is probably not such a good thing for me because I need glasses and I don't have them with me well I actually I don't have them at all I need new ones ah, along with a whole list of other stuff but anyway and what I like to do and this is optional guys you can round your corners off on your pockets I think it just looks so much better I was watching another lady the other day and um, she's fanatical about it too I'm probably not as fanatical but anyway um, so there you go that is pretty much the guts of it as you can see so um, what part did I have to remember just let me have a look I'm just gonna pause okay now we're going to be doing this section like bringing it up to glue so make sure you've got it right and that your glue is on on this side the outside of them, not the end. Okay. Ah, it's a long thing. How many minutes have we got? Uh, a few. Okay. Right, so then we will. And this should all just fold up onto it by itself. Just make sure they're pretty well down. And just there we go. Okay, there we go. Now if I can just get the hinge in quickly. Actually I'll tape it up and I'll come back. Okay, now once you've taped your hinge part, obviously we're going to get it off, get the tape off. Oy, 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 fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Go. 
And what we need to do is remember that mark I told you about. You probably don't need to take all the tape off on one, only on one side to start with. Bring that half, that mark, to the to the edge of your folder. So you need half an inch of it hanging off this. Oh, that was sick. Oh, it's not easy. I should have left the tape on. Okay, and ugh, just fold it back. Ooh, not on the flap, not on the flap, not on the flap. Not on the flap. Make sure that flap's out of the way. There you go. There's a lesson for that's a what not to do, okay? And just fold the flap back that way. It's not very even, but I can trim that. I'm trying to do this in a hurry. I've got to go. Anyway, um, so then I mark the halfway mark because I just used this. You may have another way of hole punching, but this is the only way I have. And um, so I'm just going to mark it. just going to punch the holes in and the reason I put the hinge on is so it's not encroaching on the rest of the pockets and that it's actually um, free away from my little hole puncher is a bit not very good it's only a cheapy couple of dollars but it works does what I need so that's it guys for video one all right be back for part two bye